technology is great, but did you ever think that technology could come to the point where it will actually try to fuse in with religion? You might talk about stuff like Bibles on your screens and maybe some Jesus movies if you would count that as bad. Today we're talking about artificial intelligence and religion. Code technology actually replaced a lot of things in religion. And this is a documentary by BBC World. I think it's very intriguing in a lot of ways that will trigger you concerning a lot of questions. For the Christian's aspect, I'll show that after this part but then let me show you this part in the aspect of buddhism now before i play it this is not for all buddhists this is projected by one buddhist who actually believes in this technology and it was experimented at his place so let's just watch it and let's see how he talks about it it's a robot it's designed to look like canon the goddess of mercy it's called minder it's neither man nor woman it's made of aluminium its hands, shoulders and face are covered in silicone to resemble human skin. Monk Tenshogoto thinks this robot can teach people the true essence of Buddhism. The fact that he literally hails this robot like it's a god. Yeah. Now let's just pause it there and get into Poland, where the aspect of this documentary really projects one robot that is supposed to be like a saint or a god, I don't know what it is, that helps Christians. So let's get in. Gabriele Trovato has been building this for the past year. And it's almost ready. Its name is Santo. Gabriele says this is the first ever Catholic robot. It was clear to me last year during the lockdown when uh, many people started to complain they couldn't go to church. So in this sense, uh, a machine like Santo can give a hand. Santo is programmed with 2,000 years of knowledge about the Catholic faith. My name is Santo. What brings you here on this beautiful day? Santo, is there a heaven? It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for someone rich to enter the kingdom of God. So it wouldn't answer my question directly about whether there is a heaven, but it did reply with a verse of the Bible that I thought was quite relevant. Yeah. Seems off in a lot of ways come to think of it in terms of counseling come to think of it in terms of spiritual guidance and all that how can a robot help you when you look at what gabriel said he really projected the fact that people in the year 2020 because of the lockdown were struggling this was kind of something to replace it if you cannot have a personal relationship with god nothing can replace it not technology not not playing of sermons which also have a good impact on you but then it comes to the point where you have to enrich your relationship with god on your own you have to do that you have to learn how to have your quiet time you have to learn how to be consistent in prayer to be able to build yourself up technology is really trying to intrude in your worship yes this is intrusion here is where we've reached where people want everything so optimized to the point that they don't even want to pray on their own. They need robots. They need robots to even counsel them. Friends, this is where I'll end it. <laughs> that's all I have to say, yo. That's all I have to say. Now, if you enjoyed this and you want to see more content like this, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Let's keep moving. But hey, if you're a believer, stay alert. Be consistent in building yourself up in the Lord. Stay blessed, stay connected, stay safe. Mm -hmm.